In this video, we are talking about the kind of related rates question that you can expect to see on your final exam. So, this question says sand is falling off a conveyor belt at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute into a conical pile, so a cone-shaped pile. The diameter of the pile is four times the height. At what rate is the height of the pile changing when the pile is 10 feet high. So the first thing we're going to do is go through the question again and sort of pick out what were the key pieces of information that we were given. Well, we know that it's a cone, so it's sort of that type of shape. So sand falling off a conveyor belt at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute. Let's think about that for a sec. Cubic feet is a unit of volume. Minute is a unit of time. So when we have the rate 12 cubic feet per minute, what we have is a rate of volume over some measure of time. So that's equivalent to dv over dt, the derivative of volume with respect to time. So the next thing we had in there we know that it's a conical pile. So let's write down the formula for volume of a cone. Volume is one-third pi r squared times h. Okay, the diameter of the pile is four times the height. d equals four h. At what rate is the height of the pile changing when the pile is ten feet high? So at height the height when it's at 10 feet high is what we're trying to figure out what's the rate when height's 10 feet high. So the rate of the height with respect to time would be dh over dt at h equals 10 feet. So I am going to write down the formula for volume of a cone one more time. And what we're going to do is just look at it for a sec and think, does this formula really work for us and what our purpose is? And right off the bat, no, it doesn't really work because we have an R and an H. We've got two variables on this side of the equal sign. Well, that's actually okay because we were given that diameter equals 4H. Well, isn't diameter the same as twice the radius? So that would also equal 4H. So if we divided both sides by 2, 2r divided by 2, the 2 would go away, 4h divided by 2, we would get that radius equals 2h, twice the height. So instead of radius squared in the formula, let's call that 2h squared. And then we have it just in terms of one variable over here. So I'm just going to simplify our formula a little bit. 2h squared would be 2 squared is 4, h squared is just h squared times h. So let's put the 4 with the rest of our numbers over here. 4 times a third would be 4 over 3 pi, and then h squared times h would just be h cubed. So if we do differentiate this with respect to time, this v will become dv over dt. So that's good. We know what that is equal to in our formula. If we differentiate h cubed with respect to t, we'll get the derivative of h cubed will be 3h squared times sort of like h prime. You know, whatever h is, we don't know the derivative or the rate of change. That's what we're trying to find. So the derivative of h with respect to t would be dh dt. And that's good. This is what we're trying to solve for. We know h. h is when we're at 10 feet. And we know dv dt. It was 12 cubic feet per minute. So all we need to do is plug in everything we know into the formula and solve for the one unknown we're going to have. So this is 12 cubic feet per minute. Height is at 10 feet. 
and DHDT we don't know. So we've used all the information the questions given us. Um, what we're just going to do now is simplify it a little bit so that we can say DHDT equals some number. So let's go 10 squared is 100 times 3. Well, we actually don't need to multiply by 3 because those 3's are going to crop, cancel out. So we'll go 10 squared is 100 times 4. The 400 pi dhdt. So all I need to do is divide both sides by 400 pi and I'll get dhdt equals 12 divided by 400 pi. Sorry about the phone guys. Okay, so 12 divided by 400 pi. I'm just going to do that on my calculator. That's the 10. And I'll get 0 0.0095. So, 0 0.0095 equals dH dt. Let's just think about our units for a second. Height was in terms of feet, and time was in terms of minutes. We knew that from the information the question gave us with volume in terms of time was feet per minute. So, our official answer will be that dhdt equals 0 0.0095 feet per minute.